What's up guys, Next Tech here, and I thought I'd put my Nexus devices to the test using a recently released tech demo called Epic Citadel. Now this uses the Unreal 3 engine, which is nice to see on the Android platform finally, and hopefully more games will be developed for it. If you want to uh, try this benchmarking tool, you can go ahead and get the link from my description. And yeah, let me introduce my devices here. You've got the Nexus 10 with the Exynos 5, you've got the Quad-Core Tegra 3 Nexus 7 over here, and you've got the Quad-Core S4 Pro Nexus 4 on the bottom over here. So we have nothing in the memory on each device, you can see, and let's start these up. I should mention that my Nexus 10 does have a custom ROM and a custom kernel, which may affect the performance a little bit. It's not overclocked or anything like that, so yeah, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. And let's not forget the overall screen resolution of these devices. The Nexus 10 over here is running a ridiculously high resolution, 2560 by 1600, so that may make an effect, but we'll see. Now, you can see what this tech demo is about. Basically, it's got some nice visuals. It's not the most graphically intense thing I've seen, but it's, it's nice, you know. It hasn't got all the different shadows, but it's got some really nice visuals, and it should be a pretty good test. So, I'm gonna try and hit the benchmarking tool at the same time, but I can't do it with three devices because my damn hands aren't big enough, so I'm gonna try and hit these, well, these two the same, and then I'll hit the Nexus 4 afterwards. At the end of this demo, it does give you an average FPS and stuff like that, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. You can see the FPS in the bottom left-hand corner on each device. At the moment, they're pretty much all hitting the frame cap. It's a shame I can't turn V-Sync off in some of these, because they'd be going through the roof. It'd be nice to see, but never mind. I won't skip this, I'll just let you go through the demo, because it's kind of nice. Quite relaxing sound, you know, I like a good bell. Can definitely tell that the Nexus 10 does have a slightly lower frame rate, which isn't ridiculous considering its resolution compared to the other two. But it's still holding its own, you know, it's still doing pretty damn well. Especially at the resolution it's at. Okay, and the results are in. You can see the Nexus 10, we'll start with this one, scores an average of 51.7 at its crazy resolution. It's not by 1600 due to the fact that it has the on-screen buttons. Performance level is high quality. Average FPS on the Nexus 7, obviously a lower resolution, but scores 55.5 at 1280 by 736. And the Nexus 4 over here does the best just with a 56.6 with a resolution of 1996 by 768. So you can see the different levels in performance there. It would be interesting if you could change the uh, resolution of the Nexus 10, say to 1080p, you'd think it would absolutely smash both GPUs in these two devices, because you know that is scoring very high for the resolution. But yeah, guys, there are the scores. The Nexus 4 does the best, probably due to the slightly lower resolution. But there you go. Peace out.